Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 5 of the Minecraft 1.19 Hardcore Let's Play series. We got a lot going on today. First things first, this guy right here, he's a, he's a pig on the roof. Uh, he doesn't need to be here, so he's gone. The audacity of some of these pigs, man. We also have a lot of cows. I'm afraid that uh, some of these guys are gonna have to go. You be gone, sir, and you be gone, sir. And you know what? I'm gonna pick and choose which one. How about you right over here, sir, in the corner? Be gone, sir. We also have an iron golem that made his way right into here. Uh, I don't know why he's in here. He's pretty scary. He's just walking around pretty much guarding uh, all of this at all times. I have to be pretty careful in here. So what I'm going to do, we need to go get a bow. Excited to finally get this done. We have a bow with pretty much everything on it. Power 5 and Breaking 3 Flame and Punch 2 except for Infinity. There we go. I use Infinity instead of mending on my bows because I am a man of culture. It's time you met your maker, sir. Let's go up here. I will just do this and you will go there. We'll just do that. Maybe I'll... Yeah, there you go. Couldn't hit that iron golem with one shot, so I'm gonna try for this pig. Is it gonna work? Let's go. Oh, pig, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I, I could have hit the ocelot. That that right there, that would have been a straight-up crime. Something that is a crime that's being committed, though, is not joining us on the Twitch streams, guys. Twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Feel free to join us anytime. Every single day, we're streaming there. And also, we just did the first YouTube live stream. That was pretty cool. A little bit scuffed, but it was pretty much, for the most part, very cool. I am so confused. How do these bees keep getting caught on the campfires? I'm, I'm kind of sick and tired of setting them free, because they literally go right back into the same spot where they got caught in. And, uh, it's no bueno. These guys really just, you know, there might as well just be decoration if they're just gonna chill in one spot. I'm trying to say what up to my dogs, and, oh yeah, also, you guys might as well, you guys might notice that there is a, there's a lot of space here now. It's because we took it all out. Every single mangrove tree that was here is just gone. We did that in an entire day over live stream, about six hours worth of streaming, and it's, it's all gone. And all the pandas are all the way over here now for some reason. I don't know why, but they made their way out here. Come on now, pandas. Let's, uh, let's gather you up. You are, you're way too far. Come over here, bud. Come on. Follow me. Come on, I know. You're going to walk a little slowly, but uh, we're going to go all the way back home. How's it going, Daniel? I, I hope you're doing well. Still gazing out into the ocean, I see. You know what? Get that front row seat. There you go, bud. Uh, really, the, the main reason I, would, I wanted this bow is because when we're in the nether, I feel a little bit incomplete. It's not cool to be like just in the nether in general without a bow, because if there's a ghast coming up trying to shoot you, if you don't have a bow to be able to shoot it back with, you're, 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 you're gone. There's basically no point in being in the nether. At least the way I play, that is, because uh, I play a little bit dangerously, so it's good to be back. Sir, that, you, you scared me a little bit. I'm glad that we have uh, the golden pants on. Let's go through with the sword in hand. And we are through. Here is our small nether highway beginning right now. As you can see, we just have two layers of glass. I want to see what's on the outside. I think that'd be pretty nice, because we can see the, the wildlife. We got the endermen out there. We got the hog ones out here we got the piglins out here wanted to get me some of this over here warped woods and then the warped stem this is definitely what i need it's all just in the name of collecting every item in the game honestly these warped wart blocks look pretty good for texturizing i haven't really built with these ever but I, I would like to make a build with these eventually the journey continues it never ends we really uh yeah we i don't think we have much it seems like there's a big lava lake right here so i don't think there's much netherrack to dig through but we're gonna have to dig through some Lay some up here, and we might as well just start obliterating the netherrack. Let's go. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the warped nylium is something I haven't collected much of yet either. This right here is going to take a while. This honestly just seems like, uh, seems like something for stream. Oh, never mind. Actually, we are poking through, but it looks like we are in more warped forest. Yeah, we're just, we're going to have to keep digging for a very long time. Ooh, I see a basalt delta in the distance. All right, we can get a lot of blackstone, a lot of basalt in a really short amount of time now. That'll be kind of nice for building. We did spend a little bit of time on stream making this road nice and long. We went right through. We cut right through this basalt delta. We got magma cubes here, which means we need to... Uh, we're going to have to bring the frogs over because we need to get some frog lights. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, spawn some frogs. We might do that next episode. I have to go all the way to the cold biomes and also the regular biomes to get all three different types of frogs. I only have the regular, the white ones uh, from the actual swamp biome. We also have another surprise right here. There is a fortress. We found found it it's it looks like it's huge too it goes all the way back there in the distance and it goes like all the way over here too there's a bunch of different uh areas that poke out there so we're definitely gonna have to check this out it's time to just go ahead and make ourselves a bridge going all the way across we're gonna have to steer clear of this magma i might go all the way up there and just take it out real quick going higher and higher is that it i think that might be it let's go ahead and just plug that in that shit yeah there we go I'm gonna head back down we are so high up here this nether fortress is definitely enormous if you go down you can see it go all the way back there into the delta i really basically just fade into the fog i can't even see it anymore 
This is going to be one of the more dangerous bridges I make, because if a blaze happens to spawn behind me while I'm doing this and hits me, it could just knock me right off. Or if a ghast comes over here, it could just take me right down into this lava pool. We officially have the completed bridge. I mean, it's not completed. It's only one across. I'm going to complete it eventually and put a roof on it and the glass windows. You know how it is. But we got wither skeletons. I wonder if one of these guys wants to become wither skeleton schools so I can get a beacon. I mean, that would be kind of nice. Come over here, dude. Let's get one more boop on you. And there's the blazes in the distance. Oh my god. We also have a couple more right here. I might just go bam on him. I want all of the netherrack and I want all of the soil. It is mine and I will take all of it. We even have more back here. This is this is bountiful. All right, my guy, you're going to have to be gone. Thank you very much. And I've been fighting a lot of random blazes. Oh god. Oh, we have a lot of enemies right here. We're going to have to fight you, my friend. Goodbye. And goodbye. And it uh, looks like there's a blaze right here. I'm going to have to go over here and say goodbye. The knockback just pushes him too far. I've been fighting way too many blaze. I have looting three. I think I've killed like five blaze now. And I only have four blaze rods to show for it, which is very confusing. And I can't shoot these. Oh my god. There we go. I do not want to hit these zombified pigmen to do that. It's, it's the worst thing in the world when you accidentally hit one and all of a sudden you have 50 of them chasing you. We do have a couple of these guys, though. Hello, you guys want to come over here? Come on. And big on. And big on. And, wait, wait, wait. And big on, sir. And big on. Oh, you want to go now, sir? Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, no. You want to go now? Let's go. That might be enough for right now. I can brew up a couple potions. I can make a couple different eyes of ender, that's for sure, because I definitely like what... I, I need to find out exactly where this ender dragon's going to be. We are back in the overworld. We, uh, man, that... Now that I, I spent a little bit of time. I could not find a blaze farm, but we will we will find one. I swear we will. For now, I am going to try to put uh, put these guys in a home. I got soul sand. I have nether wart to put back. These are two nether blocks that I thought I would be putting over here, but... Hmm. For now, I'll probably just put the soul sand right here in this empty one. And the nether wart itself, I guess I could keep in here, but I probably will make a brewing tower eventually that the nether wart's going to go into, because what else do you use nether wart for? Also, if anybody is wondering about the new UI, like the interface that I'm using, it is Fancy 2.0. It's a resource pack. It's really cool with the white skull and bones for hardcore and the carrots down below. If you look at while I'm using a crafting table, look at this. It's It's amazing. I love the details on these, and if you go over to the grindstone, uh, you can go over to the anvil as well. Everything is just different. And look at the enchantment table. And if you come over to the stone cutter, it looks like it would on the block as well. You can see the blade behind it. And uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think it's really cool. And it doesn't really mess with your FPS at all. So I think it's worth it. I'll put it in the uh, link in the description down below. Now, to get with the uh, main part of today's episode, I really wanted to find a villager or two. There is a farmer guy right there. He seems to be new because I moved all of the farmers into here. By the way, if you didn't watch the long play in between, it was episode 4.5. Uh, I built this new little trading hall here. I actually should probably mention that. And this guy seems to be stuck. You okay, buddy? Let's just... There you go. Let's get you down. We can put this back here. Let that grow. You need to... How about you... You need to move, man. Sometimes the villagers are just... They are just pains. They're pains. You get out of there, man. Anyways, you can walk in here, and we have a little mini trading hall. I can close this. Uh, it's all farmers right now. Ooh, that was really weird. All at one time, they bent down. All guys on the other side, too. They're all masters for right now. They can all give us golden carrots, and I like... It's very red in here. I, I kind of... I think I might replace some of these beams with oak beams to make it a little bit less red, or at least make an oak floor, because, wow, it is super red. But yeah, thanks for watching. I do need to catch uh, a couple of these guys. There we go. So we have a farmer here. I'll probably have to put him in a boat. Uh, maybe take a couple more. I know with the iron farms, if we're going to make an iron farm today, we do need about one or maybe three villagers. I think I'm going to put it maybe back here. I'll probably have to cut down some of these mangrove and jungle trees. But if we go this way, I do believe, honestly, putting an iron farm out on this side of the coast as well might be that might be kind of cool we don't have anything built on this side and it would be kind of nice to get all these torches out of this field man i really do love this town right now this probably this is my favorite hardcore world that we've made so far i really do enjoy like how peaceful this really is becoming like there's a pond here the wheat field is just like i don't know it looks so realistic with the stone on the outside and the trading hall we have our barn we have the house the panda sanctuary i don't man i'm really loving this Hello, you sir, with uh, no, you're a shepherd and uh, you don't need to be a shepherd. I don't need any more shepherds, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to place the boat down if I can. It's not, there you go. You're in the boat and I'm in the boat with you. We're just going to head out 
over to where, uh, you know, you can just, oh god, now we're stuck. We are just gonna head over to, uh, you know, a, a place where, uh, you can live a, a life filled with purpose. Doesn't look like much right now, sir, but, yo, man, this is, uh, this is a, uh, this is about to be a high-rise, priceless condo here, my dude. You can, uh, this is about to be all yours. You, sir, you don't seem to have a, a badge right there. Uh, so, uh, what are you doing, like, leather working? Yeah, not anymore. You are gonna come with me, uh, but you just... Get in the boat, sir. There you go. And uh, let's go live a life full of purpose. And uh, Mr. Number 3 can come over here and meet the brothers in arms. This is, uh, remember guys, you're living a life full of purpose. It's, uh, this is, it all matters. What you're doing matters. Made a small staircase. This might work. I'm just gonna go ahead and take out that staircase and, or that boat, not that staircase. Hopefully he just, come on, man. I think you can take it. I really do think that uh, these beds, uh, there's beds up there, man, and a composter. You can do the work. Come on, my guy. I'm literally just like leading this up. This this guy's being led up here with some carrots. Come on, come on. It's it's carrot time, bud. It's come on. I, I know you want the carrots. Grab that carrot. You don't want that carrot? Come on. At least grab that carrot. Yeah. Come over here. Grab more carrots, bud. Get up here, dude. Can, let me tell you, man, about all these carrots. There's there's so many of them down there. Yeah, there you go. Yo, all right. So the the three amigos are up here, except I, they, it looks, seems like they're about to become the four amigos. But I don't think there's enough beds. So I, I mean, if if it happens, then it happens. I don't think this is good. Now there's too many dudes in here. What I'm gonna do is uh, now now I'm in here. This is this is bad. So I'm actually gonna have to just break this glass right here. I'll break this glass right here. Just so that this little guy, there you go, there, there you go. Oh my God! Wait, he he just teleported back up in here. Hold on a second. You be you be gone. No, I'm not gonna have any. Oh my God! What's happening? All right, little guy. You, it, it's the shenanigans are over. You're done. Get out. Be gone. I'm gonna go here. You're gonna go there. And I, it, it, this is now he's just chilling there. Well, this is calling for some action. I'm probably gonna have. I'm gonna have to go down here. Let's break this. We'll break this guy. I'm actually just gonna have to push you down there, bud. Get over here. I'm gonna, uh, dude, you're going to have to go down. You're going to have to fall down find your way back to the village. There you go, Ben. Well, and it actually looks like we already have an iron golem that spawned on the ground down here, which is not good. We should probably get, uh, get, it, get it going up top. Well, it is nighttime, and I got to get one of these zombies over here. I got to get one of you guys to follow me, if that would be really cool. Come on, guys. Just why don't you get over here real quick? Yes, now follow me, my guy. Keep on following me. Come on now. Come on. Get up here. Let's go. Yep. Get up here, dude. I'm just, I'm going to go to the tippy top and you can just go over here. Come on. Make your way into the thing. Drop on down. Are you going to do it? He's in. Let's go. I got to drop down and give this guy a name tag now if I can't. Make my way over here. And I, sir, I'm, I'm going to call you the guy. You are now the guy. By the way, guys, I am going to put the tutorial down below in the description for Shulker Crafts video for the Iron Farm. That's just the one that I pretty much have been using for since 1.18, actually. It's very compact, very useful. i got the three villagers in here. The guy is in there still. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you just have a kind of a hopper chest system going down however you want. Mine's kind of, it's, it's weird. I wanted to fit as many chests as possible because I'm about to trade as much iron as I can as well as I mean I'm trying to keep as much iron as I can as well we do have a little bit of iron though it's got 14 iron six poppies so far that have been I mean it's not that efficient I have been constructing this in that time and actually there's another iron golem right now that's unfortunately getting murdered But to make this more efficient, you just go bop with the redstone torch, and it's going to make the guy just go up and down repeatedly with this piston, because we do have the repeaters in there. I uh, got a little redstone system to make these guys just get scared over and over again, and I'm, I'm super sorry about it, guys. I decided I made the walls just a little bit too large, a little bit too wide, so I'm going back, taking this down, and I'm bringing it in by about two blocks here, because it's still going to be a little bit of a castle look in here. But uh, yeah, it's just it's a little bit too big. Got ourselves a little castle here with some poppies on the top, you know, just in memoriam for the uh, the fallen golems in here. I think we're going to build with the mangrove. Actually, you know what? Quick decision. We're going to do a 180. This is an audible. We're going to use oak logs instead. Uh, we're going to go up here. I'm going to use mangrove for the roof. We'll use oak logs instead. We'll go up here, and uh, it looks like we close it off. I put slabs at the top, so... Yep, sorry about that, my guy. But yeah, I feel like just a little bit of oak over here never hurt nobody. Let's go one, two, three, probably tower up again. And then we'll do that on all four sides. This guy just spawned right here and I, I, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm sorry, guy. He's just he's like, help, help. Yeah, man, I'm really not going to do anything about this. You shouldn't have spawned here. I'm trying to build a little house and you should have spawned over there in the pool. Oh, I see. He gets down now. Well, you know what? Here we go. One to the head, two to the head, three to the head. 
five to the head. I was thinking about actually lining up the sides over here with a little bit of cobblestone. That might add just, uh, you know, a lot of color to this. Uh, instead of just deep slate and mango, we're going to add some cobblestone and oak to this as well. So we have four different color variations. And I also thought it might be kind of cool. What if we bring this out? We're not going to make the roof as high over here, but we'll still use oak. We'll go one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Oh, that, that was actually perfect. All right, then we'll go out like this. I'm planning on making a smaller room, not that tall, but probably only going about, uh, let's actually build up four tall right here. I'm really liking the structure. I like how it's like a tall castle in the middle, and then we have kind of just these small village houses connected at the bottom. I like that. It's kind of wide. I'm, I'm getting used to using all these slabs. I'm really, normally I go up like very steep with the builds, but uh, right here, going up just one slab at a time, it's kind of refreshing. The slabs are okay because nothing will spawn there, but uh, just for a little bit of texture purposes and also because we don't need anything spawning up here, we're going to go ahead and put the mangrove trap doors every other one. We're just going to alternate and then in between those, we're just going to go ahead and put the buttons down. Nothing should spawn on the buttons. For decoration down here, I thought we might just make it easy on ourselves. Let's go ahead and put a bunch of these around. I'm going to go ahead and put these here. Um, for the window, we'll go this like we did on the other side. We can take a pickaxe through here to form the window we'll go ahead and put some glass panes in so oh, that's that's definitely not a glass pane that was misinformation right there let's go ahead and uh, let's put the fences I like the way that the mangrove fences look next to the oak it actually does make those pop a little bit and then we actually have the chains here to make these connect too and then a little bit of uh yeah mangrove gate never really hurt anybody we also have a blank slate of a wall right here so am I, I think I'm gonna start just by I want to try this I'm gonna get down here I want to see what it looks like if we... I'm gonna, obviously, I'm going to put some plants on the top of this wall, but leave some chains down from here, get some lanterns on the side. I think I'm going to put that on every corner. Now, these windows right here seem a little bit too big. I think I'm going to go ahead and just I'm gonna tighten these back up right there. I think I might end up putting that right there. Yeah, this window is going to look nice and fun. I always like using the oak trap doors as awnings like on the side. Is that an awning? I don't think awning is the right word. I'm not, not really sure, actually. I'm kind of feeling a little dumb right now, but we are still going to use that on the top to cover up any rain. We're gonna get the window panes up in here. This is looking like, honestly, this is kind of looking like a home. Now, when we take a step back, it's uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a castle, a little bit of a home. We can get a little bit of decoration up here too. I'm probably gonna put, ooh, this will be a nice little windowsill. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take a flower pot right there, right there. And we've been putting poppies everywhere. Normally I use a lot of ferns, a lot of azaleas, but no, today's all poppies. So everything seems to be decorated. I got everything up top over here on the deep slate. A lot of mangrove and oak combination with the same down bottom with the bottom a little bit more focused on the oak. But now I'm just kind of thinking we need to, you know, this pond is, or the lake, this is, or basically this is the ocean. It wraps around all the way. This is the, That water is the same as this water. It's not landlocked. But I do need to uh, get this dirt in here because part of the build, as you can see, is underwater. Or actually, it's over here. Yeah, all of this is underwater, so we can technically swim under this. I just need to, you know, just bring the grass all the way around, put some bone meal up to make it seem like it's, you know, just been growing for a while, and then we should be able to call it good over here. While we let this grow, I think now, and now I'm kind of realizing down here, we're going to have to put some stairs. We, uh, Yeah, this is my new favorite thing at the very bottom. It just makes it seem more secure. I'd, and uh, I think I've done that for the past, like, I don't know, 10 or 20 builds. Everything on the bottom is going to be the stairs. And you know what? Actually, right here, Maybe we could put a little bit of a, a post here. We can end up putting some poppy. Do we have poppy? We do. More poppies on the bottom. Let's go. I'm hopping back up here because I know it doesn't necessarily need it. Like, this is not a necessary thing for the build, but I think it would be cool if uh, every now and then I might just put, go ahead and put a uh, pretend little chimney here just to make it seem like, you know, there's a little bit of action going on inside. There's something being cooked. There's really nothing. The room below us is uh, pretty much empty. Uh, there's really nothing going on in there except for a bunch of golem murder, but I think this is just going to make it pop a little bit more. And you know what? You know what I'll do is I'll put this on the other side too. What do we got? We got the trap door. We got the button. And then I'll probably put it. Where does it go? Right over here. We got the trap door. We got the button. We'll just go ahead and put it right here. And I believe that should be good on every side. Actually, that was 100% wrong. This needs to go here. This needs to go back. The trap door can go back. And we actually need to go ahead and put it right here. I don't know what the heck I was even thinking. And Geronimo! Uh, you know, it's kind of cool being right next to the water just because of that type of purpose right there. But let's go ahead and just plant what we need to plant. 
I wanted to get a few more propagules back in this area. I thought it would be pretty cool if we could, I don't know, let's see if we have a mangrove tree would like to grow, right? Oh yeah, underwater mangrove trees right in the middle of the ocean. They always look cool. Take out all the torches over here and then start the bone mealing process. Oh my gosh. Oh right, yeah, we're going to take out all the creeper grass. It does not belong. Goodbye. Creeper grass, be gone. I actually also wanted to get, I don't know, I want to get an acacia tree over here. We never, we don't really have that many acacia trees up in the map in general. I know I've been talking about this in a few different episodes, but I think, you know, let's just try this. Let's just go ahead and go bam, see if that wants to load up. No, I mean, that might have been in the way. Honestly, that might be in the way of the thumbnail now. I, I'm not sure. That tree might have to go. Sometimes I accidentally just plant too many stuff or too much stuff and it goes right in the way of a thumbnail. So I have to take it right back out. And then, you know, a couple more jungle trees in the back never hurt anybody. I liked, I've been planting a lot of these lately, and it's just, it's been making everything, the background especially, seem a lot more full. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Everyone that is a part of the Patreon, thank you so much. And everyone that joins for the Twitch streams, thank you so much. Again, that's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Come and join every time we do stream every single day. And just, yeah, you know what, guys? Take care of yourselves. Do something nice for someone, and I'll see you guys for episode six. Oh my god, I accidentally turned on the voice chat thing again. My bad, guys. I meant to do this. Thank you, guys. Bye.